Guys, before we get into showing you the track, I want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Canadips. Without them, this track build wouldn't have been possible. Canadips is the nation's leading CBD dip. It's completely tobacco and nicotine free. They've provided a dip for you guys that will help you quit the bad stuff while providing discreet and fast acting CBD on the go. At first, I was pretty skeptical on using CBD, but Canadips has really helped my mind relax at night and my body recover after working on the track. In partnership with us, Canadips is dropping their greatest deal ever. Head over to CanadipsCBD.com or click the link in our bio and save 50% off the Cali roll or the Humboldt pack using code CBOYSTV. Each pack is full of five flavors and is only $25 instead of the usual 50. The Cali Roll is their traditional pack with citrus, mint, mango, wintergreen, and spice. And the Humboldt pack was just released today and has five strain flavors like strawberry cough, Gorilla Glue, Blue Dream, and Papaya. Both these packs are normally $50, but only $25 by going to the link in our bio or using the code CBOYSTV at CanadipCBD.com. Canadips are the ultimate discreet dose. No smoke, no smell, allowing you to pop pouches on the track, at work, or around the girlfriend or wife. So head to CanadipCBD.com or click the link in our bio to make your pick. Thanks again, Canadips, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the track. All right, guys, after two weeks of pushing dirt, 133 hours in the dozer, way too much money in diesel fuel. Seven grand. Seven grand for diesel? 500 bucks a day for 13 days. All right, after $7,000 of diesel fuel, we now have a dirt bike track. First off, big shout out to Rich for coming out here. We booked him a one-way ticket and he said, I'm leaving once the track is perfect. And then once he got here, we said, not only do we want a dirt bike track, we also want a pond. And he was like, okay, I might be here then longer than expected. But it turned out insane. Rich is the best in the business. If you guys want a dirt bike track built, he'll fly out build you whatever you can dream of. And everyone go show them some love on Instagram. We're gonna link them in the description. We told them that we wanted some big jumps that we can hit on dirt bikes and razors. And so he built mostly all tabletops and then a couple doubles, like the double behind us that Mike hit in the last video on the razor. And then one smaller one over there. But uh, we should be able to ride the razor and basically anyone on a dirt bike can ride the entire track, which is what we wanted. And then we told him we wanted a pond and he built us a fucking lake. I think we're just like six or seven sand loads away from a literal beach. Get some nice little like tiki umbrellas. That's Ken's favorite part about this track. He's planning on lounging out by the water here. I think maybe next year by the time we get some snowpack in here and get it to melt, I think we could get like some jet skis going in here. All right, so once this pond actually fills up, it's gonna be around probably 15 to 20 feet deep. Uh, right now, this is all we got right now, just because of the rain, but it will fill up as we get more rain and then obviously snow after next winter. And the nice part about the entire track is it's basically all funneling the water into this pond. So every time it rains, funnels over here and we did the smart thing this time and put culverts in so once this fills up i think it's gonna be really cool because there's a lot of different ideas we can do with the pond comment them down below but we have a couple in our back pocket right now we're thinking a zip line possibly a blob and then also a freestyle jump into the pond honestly i think the pond is my favorite part of the whole track he really went and built probably the coolest pond you could build. We thought he was just gonna dig a hole with the excavator and it was gonna fill with water. Yeah. That's it. If anybody's got like some big water truck and they don't mind bringing it over here and helping fill up our pond, Yo. be our guest. We would love that. Or we host a meet up here and everyone has to bring one bottle of water. The Dasan <laughs> yeah. Sani water oh and we're gonna God. fill up and we'll call it the Sani Lake. Oh no, we're Avon only here. Avon? Some rich brand only Ken drinks. I've never even heard of that. Yeah. You've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we got a ton of jumps, which you guys will see uh, as we ride it right after this. But I think we got to go and show them kind of the last little cool, quirky thing that we had built. Also, it's crazy because two years ago, we built our first track on the property over there. That was like three jumps and then Cody came and redid it and that was a little bit bigger and then Rich came and did it the third time. I was a little bit bigger and now we got this, which is like a childhood dream. Dude, actually, <laughs> the growth is insane. And the best part is, is that we used 
one fourth of the land. Yeah. Like the possibilities are endless. I don't know if this needs to be said, but this is not open to the public. Please do not come here and ride it. We had a kid come over the other day and he goes, yeah, so heard this is gonna be open to the public. And we were like, no, where'd you hear that? And he was like, oh, everyone at school was talking about it. And we were like, no, no, that's not true at all. And he goes, oh, they also said you guys were getting a gas pump installed too. And we were like, well, what? All right, so this is another really cool feature. Basically, Rich came through with the excavator and tore out a bunch of trees to make a loop that then heads back out through the gap jump. So Rich made some massive jumps and usually things look smaller on camera than they do in real life. But these jumps, I think, look massive on camera. So that really shows the sheer size that these jumps actually are. So I'll be honest, we're a little bit scared to hit them. I think we're gonna just slowly work our way around the track and uh, get used to each jump. You barely remember how to ride a big bike. Hang on the game, we are not playing the same. No, we're not looking to change, hang on the road. Holy crap! Your bike could not be any closer to not making it. Every time it's just dirt right off the edge. Alright, starting to get the hang of this. Oh. Holy shit, Mike! Damn it! Ah. Oh my! Cody's the only one that's nutted up to hit this big one. 50 to clear the knuckle, 100 to butter it perfectly. This is 100 feet. Oh, oh my snow. god! You're a wild man. Dude, this is fun. I gotta hit it. Oh my that gosh, no, you guys are so high on that. That's the biggest shit I've ever hit. Holy shit! Dude, you are so that high. That is so big! Bro, that is terrifying. Did you guys ever think you'd be jumping 100 feet on our freaking new track? No, and honestly, I didn't really want to. <laughs> Especially not after 15 minutes. We still like haven't even hit the other jumps. Dude, I can't wait to see the Razor school bus absolutely clearing the tree line. But do you even think it's possible? Not to go as deep as the bikes, I don't think. What do you think, Ev? Dude. Super sick day. I think the track is amazing. I haven't done anything that injured myself today, so I think I'm just gonna call her with the vibes really a high. Bad idea. All right, we got ourselves an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea, but it's an idea. I think we're gonna try and jump the SEMA truck. It's a pretty big jump, but this might be a kind of a tight squeeze. I don't know. Mike's saying there's no way he hits it. I say there's no way they don't hit it. Like, I'm just looking, I'm eyeballing this. Yeah. Okay, but if you come up short, like looking at old videos. Well, you don't, but you we all have multiple times where oh, we barely clear it. You got the back tires to the edge of the landing, you're not hitting that truck. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie. It's so unnecessary to be doing this right now. Like it's cool, but that's about it. That's pretty much everything we do, man. <laughs> I know, I know. Does no. insurance cover this? It does it? No. On, 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 on! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god.
watch your send, bro. Yeah. That was gnarly. I think that might have been the biggest side-by-side -side jump I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure that the four-seater might jump it, better than the two. It might, dude. We'll see when we get our two-seater, but this thing floats like a dream. Dude, the suspension literally goes full compression. Yeah, I could feel, especially when I landed flat like that. I gotta try that one more time. All right. That was like everything I had. Was that, that was wide open? Yeah. this guy <laughs> he just buttered that first time dude I think we're done with the track for the day. We're gonna go and surprise Ken with some new earrings. But again, big thanks to Rich for coming out, building us this track and the lake. So stay tuned for the videos that we film with it. Also, next Thursday is my birthday. <laughs> and it's a merch shop. I cooked up some 4th of July merch for you guys. So next Thursday, we got a merch shop and a big, big giveaway going. So stay tuned for that. Go check out the website, scroll it. There's a bunch of cool stuff. Go tell Mike, good job, Wheelman, and uh, Let's go surprise Ken. Uh, some earrings. Yeah. All right, guys. So a couple videos ago, we surprised Ken with massive diamond earrings that he thought were real, but in reality, they were actually ten dollars and from Claire's. But we made up like a fake invoice and showed that to him to make him think that they were real. The issue with it is how excited he was for the earrings. So he still doesn't know that they're fake because the video hasn't aired yet. So we're gonna go to the jewelry store right now and pick out a real pair of earrings. This wasn't in the plan to go get him the real deal earrings, but now we are 100% obligated to. So I, I mean, at least he'll be rocking some real diamonds after this. We are a little afraid though, how much this is gonna cost. How did it go with Ken on the whole CZ thing? It went too good. <laughs> He was like so excited and he, he didn't question for a second that they were fake and like he loves them. So he's been like strutting around, like showing everyone his earrings and he's just, it's, he's like a new man. So all right, we yeah. feel like we have to buy him Kinda real have to ones. Ante that, yeah. ante up. Like, I think we just yeah. got to get something relatively close to what the invoice price was that okay, he well, thought I, I the did fake one was. I you for one of these pairs. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that well, let's just do that. Okay, for, yeah, so I think, I think he did I think this it, one, yeah, 1300. Yeah, I think those were the ones that he had. What here. do you think? I think that it's perfect. And that's the pair to go? Yeah. Fantastic. Do we need to have them all wrapped up for him so he can actually yeah. be like, I yeah. think I so, legit yeah. Ones this He's time. gonna think that we're faking them again. Can we get like uh, a certificate this time? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Because there's no way he believes it twice. Here, I thought you were telling me you're gonna give me a ride in the Lamborghini. If you want that, we can do that too. If, no, if that you knock a little like, price off, that maybe. That would really torque off Kelvin, I think, because I'm guessing he hasn't been in it, so. I don't think so. <laughs> 1,400 bones. Legit this time. Thank you very much. He loves them, so. Me too. <laughs> That's funny. So they helped us get the jewelry box and made the fake invoice for the first time, so that's why she was kind of in on the joke, but well, we better lump these ones. What if he's like, oh, they're not big enough. Yo. What's what good? up? What's good? We were just admiring the Lamborghini. This thing is like a serious magnet around here. Ken lost a hot dog eating contest. Anyway, <laughs> they did these smallest little earrings in there. They're basically eight year old little girl earrings. So uh, I went out and bought him a replacement set of the biggest diamonds I could find from Claire's. <laughs> they were $9.99. Ken Boss, bro. I'm oh, sorry, Ken. Sunday, man. <laughs> now, now I feel a little more justified giving you that titty twister. <laughs> <laughs> you look so good though, Ken. I think you should just keep rocking them. Uh, not anymore. Now I can't. You're not going to wear them anymore? <laughs> no. Why? <not. laughs> <laughs> because of that. I told you. I knew he wouldn't wear them if he knew they were $10. <sighs> 
I feel so bad. Kev is so proud. Oh, you did actually get nice ones. Well, don't jump to the conclusion yet. Oh, God. All right, Ked. Those are the... <laughs> no, those are the real ones. All right. <laughs> those, are, those are the... Wait. No, th these are the real ones from the receipt. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I did want to get you the same size, and then I found out that they'd be like $35,000. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Those are gonna work? Yeah, these are good. Thanks, buddy. 